This is the double stud wall net zero assembly. So what this assembly is made up of, it's made up of two two by four walls and then a space in between the two. And you can jam that full of whatever insulation that might be that you want to use. So what we did for this assembly is we did a two by four wall, then we did a three inch space and then another two by four wall to the interior. This interior wall is the structural wall and I'll describe that in a minute. But we then filled this uh, these cavities with three different layers of R12 fiberglass bad insulation. So in the two by four uh, walls, it's installed vertically in between the studs. And then in the center, in this three inch space, we installed it horizontally to just have that kind of possibly break that thermal bridging if, if there might ever be spots where they, the joints line up. Um, with this assembly, the air control layer is the vapor barrier to the interior. So we do have to deal with how we detail at floors and things like that to make sure that that air control layer is continued. So what we do for this wall assembly is we have the vapor barrier, which is also the air control layer coming down. And then there was, the framers had to install a chunk of that vapor barrier underneath their walls before they lifted them into place. So there's actually a piece of paper here that you can't really see that is underneath this wall, wraps up to the interior and then gets taped to the vapor barrier and uh, air control layer to the interior. And then what would normally happen with this wall, which I couldn't show just because of how I had to build these samples, that air control layer would wrap down in front of this member, then back in and back to the inside of the wall that would be below. So we can see that with this being the air control layer, we have to tape all the joints. So every joint has been taped and that tape has to be rolled with a roller to make sure that that adhesive actually engages and maintains that uh, air tightness there. So with the window, uh, how we ensured a continuity of that air control layer is we wrapped this window jam in uh, the vapor barrier membrane. And then once we installed the window, we used backer rod and caulking to seal this window uh, frame to the vapor barrier, which then maintains that air control layer with that caulking. We could, if it was a different window, uh, a high performance window that had a flat face, we could actually tape this to that, uh, sorry, tape the vapor barrier to the window frame, and then we wouldn't have to deal with uh, backer rod and caulking. And then we just use fiberglass bat insulation in between the window frame and the rough opening of the buck. So for continuing the air control layer on the ceiling, it would be the same thing as many of the wall assemblies where the underside of the trusses is the air control layer and we would use this same smart vapor barrier that we used on the walls for the trusses and how that would work is you'd land the trusses and then that membrane would wrap down and get taped to this membrane to ensure that it uh, maintains that air control layer. Skibbity riz. <laughs> <laughs>